three, two, one. Zechariah chapter seven, verse one. And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius, as we recall from studies, Darius inscription, I am Darius. Remember, this is one of the Meleks, the messenger, the anointed, right? I am Darius, the great king, king of kings, king of countries containing all kind, dot, 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 blah, 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 and Alchemedian, the Alchemedian Empire, right? A Persian, these are the people called Persia in the Bible, son of a Persian, all right? So this is not some. he's writing this for a reason. He's showing you nobody cut in between his lineage. And Arian. When you look at the image of Darius, and you see these coils in his hair, that is an afro. I have those coils myself. It's called conditioner. Your hair does it on its own. I can't say that that specific style is done. <laughs> but this is not what we think. If I type in Aryan itself, someone has incorporated this into their new image, the image of the Chaldean. The image of the Chaldean. Habakkuk chapter one. The burden of which Habakkuk the prophet did see. I will raise up the Chaldeans. Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard, among, among, excuse me, behold, you that live among the heathen, pay attention to these words and wonder. Wonder how could this ever be? It is prophecy. I will work a work in the later days, which you will not believe, though it will be told to you. You're a slave from Africa. For I will raise up the Africans, the Chaldeans. You have not heard about the Chaldeans since Egypt and Babylon. I will raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and Hasty nation which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. That is colonization. Guess what? Darius knew that this was coming. So Darius made his image. He said, This is my empire's title. This is my biblical name title. I am the son of my father. This is my ethnic title. Because it says what? Lineage. This is what he wrote in his inscription because he knew that one day he would die and someone would come around pretending to be him. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Why do you see all this stuff before you see the truth?
How come every time they draw these images, they make them look like Arabs, even though they are not really Arabs, they are Persians? How come nowhere on here it says Persia or Alchemy Empire? It doesn't matter what's inside. This is why he inscribed these words in his language. To preserve his identity. To possess people's ident domicile, where you live. To possess your identity. They are terrible and dreadful. You pick your version of their Bible, and this it was it says about them. Their judgment, their court system, their admiralty law, and their dignity shall precede themselves. They will never live up to it. This is why you see them getting smacked on the wrist. They can't live up to what they say live up to. This is why you're the minority. They'll take your arms first. Because they cannot live up to their own law. That's what it says right here. Their horses, those are vehicles. Underneath the hood is horse power. They're swifter than leopards. Remember, all these car companies beat the living hell out of Mercury. And what did Mercury have on the front? The Cougar, right? So the sports car, the muscle engine beat all those leisure cars out, didn't it? More fierce than wolves. Their horsemen shall spread themselves and their horsemen shall come from far. Is that not how America is? In the time of the horse, it was covered with horses. You were the cowboy. They took your title. You were the Indian. They took your title. You were the British. They took your title. You were the Englishman. They took your title. But they never took your freedman title. They were like, no, we're not going to do that. Their horsemen shall come, what? From afar, as far as Siberia, as far as South Africa, Charlize Theron. Hmm? They'll spread themselves everywhere from Alaska to South America. Paste like peanut butter. They shall fly. You already know this is beyond the idea of a metaphor. As the eagle, those are called pilots. Hmm? They shall come all for violence. That's the only reason. This is what their creator says. This is what your creator says. Let's get beyond that. Oh, you're hating. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just reading. They didn't come for your trees. Just for... They didn't come for sugar. They didn't come for gold. All those are lies. This is about that tower falling, bud. The b -b 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 -b. statue of Nebuchadnezzar, statue of daughter of Nebuchadnezzar. Da excuse me, Liberty. Liberation from what? The Creator. Hmm? 
their faces shall soup up as the east wind. Hmm? The island of California. On that coastline, looking east, what do you see in the mountains? Their faces. Hmm? Their forefathers. They're not related to any of those guys. They got a, 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 a 12 year old that says they're all related. They all go back to what? Plantagenet. How could that be? If they themselves make videos saying Charlemagne is fake, yet they themselves make videos saying all Europeans descend from Charlemagne. They can broadcast anything that's not true, and nobody says anything. You broadcast the truth, and they say, oh, that's racism, oh, that's hate, oh, that's division. I got letters here saying, you're trying to start a war with a corporation logo on it. I say, I'm reading the Bible. You're trying to start a war. I'm reading the Bible. They shall come all for violence, their faces up in the mountains, like is the east. They shall gather the captivity as the sand. Is this not colonization? They shall scoff at the kings. Don't they find those caves? Don't they take those mummies out? Don't they DNA test those mummies? What do they say about anything about the mummy? Oh, this mummy has cocaine in it. Nothing else. Won't even tell you a name. Somebody made up a name, they stamped it to it, and now that's what you hear. And the princes shall be a scorn unto them. I, I hate black people. The princes of the kings that they detest, right? Ah. This black empire thrown into captivity. That black empire thrown into captivity. You're called black color, Negro, never the title of the kingdom you were from. They shall deride every stronghold, break it apart. They shall gather up the dust, the minerals, and they'll take it. Then shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend in putting his power unto his God.
We are in the time of that offense. He has changed his mind. This he unto his God is not what you think. It is the Chaldean. He shall input his power into his God. Who is his God? The dragon. What did they tell you about the dragon? That they get their power from the dragon and then give their power back. And that means what? That's the time when the world is ruled by one. That's when everything falls into the hand of darkness. When he changes his mind and cares no more about the captivity, he believes he has the power to pass over. He will offend everyone. Placing his authority back to the dragon. <laughs> so it came to pass in the fourth year of Darius that the word of the issue came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month. And to speak unto the priests, which were in the house of the Ishi of hosts, and to the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself as I have done these so many years? And the word of the issue of host came unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people in the land of the priests, saying, When ye fasted and mourned, and he says he separates himself for this moment, when ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years, did ye at all fast? Unto me, even to me, when ye did eat, and when ye did drink, did ye not eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Should ye not hear the words which the Ishi hath cried by the former prophets unto Jerusalem, was inhabited and in prosperity? And the cities thereof round about her when men inhabited the south and the plains. Now he's saying, you didn't remember me when you lived in the good good. Now here you cry to me when you live in the bad bad. And the word of the issue came unto me, saying, Zechariah, thus speak of the, word, the issue of hosts, saying, execute true judgment. True judgment and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Now, and oppress not the widow nor the fatherless, the stranger nor the poor, and let none of your imagine evil against his brother in your heart. Let none of you, excuse me, I said your, let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. These are the words we need to live by. But they refused to hearken. Okay, look at that. And pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. 
Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Adamantium? Less. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, I love it. Less they should hear the law. Now, do you see what they're truly ignoring? Do you see what our, pre our problem is? This is the root of it all. Our connection to the Most High is the law. As any man refuseth the law of the Most High, the, the Creator, the word of the issue, the Old Testament, period. This is what they're doing. These words here in the Old Testament, from Malachi to Genesis, or Genesis to Malachi, that is the word. The actual truth. The right, not the light, the right, the righteous, the Jeshurun, the Jasherite, the book of Jashar, the book of the upright. Ten Commandments state no other God. Another book is attached. It's no more than a test. It is testing you on what you learned from the first true book. They turned away from the law. The words which the Ishi of Host hath sent in his spirit. That's what grabs these men we call prophets and have them speaking to our people this had nothing to do with the rest of the world. Our actions were supposed to be to the rest of the world. Which he had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Clearly, it's all right there. This, has, this doesn't have any, anything here to resemble the New Testament. The New Testament was what those people had to do based on their God. It's, it's all it is. You cannot be a creator of all, yet come from a vagina. Therefore came a great wrath from the Ishi of hosts, and that was the destruction of our people. That only a remnant, the remainder in the ketchup bottle, survived. And the hands that he used to do this was the Chaldeans. Which most people want to tell you, it's Edom. And it's not, because Edom's your twin brother and these people look nothing like you. Therefore it shall come to pass that as he cried, they would not hear. So they cried, and I will not hear them. So saith the Ishi. And of course he's not going to listen because he sent the Chaldeans to do this to us. Now our punishment has come to an end. Our forefathers obliterated for the actions of their building and their worship of other gods. But I scattered them with a whirlwind 
among all the nations. You didn't come out of Africa. You came out of here and went to all the other nations whom they knew not. You went to Spain on the slave block. You went to Europe on the slave block. What do they call that in football? Uh, a combine? Where they measure you up and show you and walk you around like a like like a puppy. They walk you around in your underwear, right? This is what I can do. This is my speed. This is how fast I can run. This is how much I can lift. Hmm? And you allow this because why? Your mind. Your mind is captive. I'm looking for the book of Habakkuk where it says captivity. Hmm? You're all grouped together like the sand. Every 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 beach has sand in a grouping, just like every ghetto has you in a grouping. But you don't see it. You don't want to see it. Because what? They refuse to hearken. I'm not refusing. I didn't turn away. 39 people showed up in Utah to hold a Passover. Next thing that happens is <laughs> a mountain that hardly ever does anything has a great big storm, a winter storm while we're in spring. Nobody notices it's summertime and you're eating lettuce that's been frozen. You should be having fresh lettuce, but it's all ice. Because this year's crops are, are done. Search the news. It's not hard to find. From the four corners, and I scattered them to the four corners. From the four corners of the promised land to the four corners of the world. in places where they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them. They call that the desert. That no man passed through nor returned. Now one person done been to the desert and said, I want to go back there and live. For they laid the pleasant land desolate. If California is so beautiful, if parts of Arizona is that beautiful, if you have to bring in grass for it to be that way, then what happened to the rest? I've been to Utah. They got to ship in grass. They got to pay half their income just to just to water. They're shipped in grass. Wake up. You've been in the promised land the whole time. Shalom.